Okay, just a warning that this uh, next segment is not really appropriate for young kids. Although our government seems to think it is. Last year on the show, we told you about a book being used in some Australian primary schools and being stocked in the kids' sections of libraries around the country and being sold on full display at Big W to teach children about sex and it way overstepped anything that the state should be teaching your kids. The book was authored by the radical far-left extremist Yumi Steins. It's all full of colour and cartoons and pretty pictures. And it covers topics such as blowjobs, anal sex and the lesbian practice of scissoring. I said last year that it's actually good for older teenagers to learn about this stuff in a mature way rather than from classmates perhaps. But I really believe it's the domain of conversations with parents and guardians, not teachers. And it's not for younger kids. Big W were stocking it on full display, but then made it only available online when the controversy blew up. Steins is on record as saying that she would, quote, be happy with a mature and smart eight-year-old having a flick through. No, sorry, it is not appropriate for any eight-year-olds or anyone under about 14 or so. And of course, the book is full of unscientific gender ideology nonsense. Steins spoke to your SBS at the time. I make no apologies for the book. I'm very proud of it. Educating people about sex doesn't make them go out and want to do the thing that they've been educated about. It really doesn't. Um, it's been checked and rechecked and tested and scientifically, statistically proven that the earlier people get sex education that's comprehensive and science-based, the later that they'll actually have sex and that sex will be safer and consensual, more likely. The great Australian intellectual Yumi Steins there, she may be right, but I don't see how exposing kids to gender ideology and unusual sexual techniques is okay, particularly in cartoon form. And I'm no prude, but there is a line, folks, and people keep wanting to cross it more and more and more. I don't have an issue with what adults want to do in the privacy of their own home. That is none of the government's business either. But the most shocking thing about all of this is that following a week in which the Prime Minister has been morally grandstanding about what kids are exposed to on social media and the need for more censorship power to the government, the Australian Prime Minister's Literary Awards, I repeat, the Australian Prime Minister's Literary Awards has included this particular book among its nominated books for a 2024 award. Yep, you heard me, Elbow's Literary Awards. Hooray! And why wouldn't it be in there? The publisher's blurb makes it clear that the book is about much more than sex. It's about left-wing identity politics ideology. Quote, welcome to sex is inclusive, intersectional, multicultural, reassuring, and all about keeping sex fun covering a wide range of gender, sexuality and disability, the publishers gush. Even better, the book is a nominee in the juvenile category and it will win, no doubt, just as stick it to conservatives for being, you know, conservative. The Comedy Central show Alternatino had this take a few years back on what it's like for dads in the modern era to have the old birds and the bees talk with their sons. When boys and girls get a little older, they start getting interested in one another, right? You know, and non-binary people, agender, intergender, FTX, gender fluid people. What? There's more than just boys and girls now, Dad. And they're not girls, they're women. Y yeah, okay, okay sure. <clears throat> well, my point is that sex is a, it's a very important decision. How are you defining sex? Sex is different things to different people. What if there's two men or two women or more? More? How would you define sex with multiple simultaneous partners? Or what if somebody's undergone genital reconstruction or, or is intersex? Uh, no, but I'm just talking about normal, straight. Normal. Come on, Dad. Okay, here we go. Let me ask you this. Son, are you attracted to women? Yes, but I'm, I'm young. Is Emily a woman? Biologically. <sighs> okay, you're attracted to women. Emily's a woman. So if you were to have sex with Emily... I wouldn't just have sex with Emily. 
We'd have to make that decision together. Homecoming's not an excuse to ignore consent. I'm not saying to ignore consent. I never said ignore consent. <laughs> It'd be funny if it wasn't so true and serious. With all the government crackdown on freedom of speech and digital IDs and marketing companies manipulating your information, you would be crazy not to have a virtual private network on your laptop and phone. In fact, all of your devices. I was once a bit afraid of how these things work, that they might you know, slow down my internet speed or be too complicated to set up. But private internet access is terrific. And when you buy from them, you're supporting the other side too, because they're one of our sponsors. So to help keep yourself safe from big government and big corporations with a VPN, get onto private internet access. We have done a fantastic deal just for other side viewers. You're gonna get 83% off the usual price and four months free. That brings it down to just $2.68 a month, a half a cup of coffee. It's amazing. You just got to use the special access code that you can see on your screen right now. That is PIAVPN.com, PIAVPN.com forward slash other side. And you'll get that discount if you do that. Okay. Uh, it's super easy to download, super easy to get running. Literally just takes a few minutes and it's always on. It didn't slow down my internet speed one bit. And the side benefit is that I can now watch Netflix using my Netflix account as if I'm in any country in the world, which opens up the whole global Netflix library to me. And best of all, by using PIA, you're supporting the other side in a very big way and helping us to keep on providing an alternative to the mainstream media focused on Aussie news. PIAVPN.com forward slash other side, get on it. If you like that clip, there's more where that came from in our full show, The Other Side. You can watch it right here, the latest episode. And please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button right here or down here. And remember to click that notification bell too. It all helps. Join us and become part of The Other Side.